Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to purchase the domain and get the hosting set up and get Cloudflare set up. Um, so, if you saw the last video, you saw that sunrise-contractors.com was an expired domain and it had a lot of good stats on it when I checked it. It has a Yelp listing, it's got the Manta listing, the Compass, Yellow Pages, BBB, which is really important, some other Yellow Page listings, it's got a Facebook. I mean, it was a real company and uh, it, look, we've even got the um, Google Map listing, but it unfortunately doesn't have the website. So. Uh, I'll see if I can add that later with one of my Google accounts. But we'll go back to our do, do, uh, domain name register. I use Namecheap because you get the who is for free. So you have to remember if you're building a lot of websites, you're going to want to keep that uh, who owns the websites private. Um, and then also you're going to want to keep the hosting, each hosting, they call it SEO hosting, but uh, each hosting account for each uh, domain to be a different IP address. And I'm going to show you how to accomplish that with using just one 1195 HostGator shared hosting where you can do about 50, 60 sites on. And then you use a free service called Cloudflare, which will help protect the IP address of the hosting for each one of the domains. So I'll go through it here now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to purchase this um, domain here real quick. I'll pause the video. Okay, I've purchased the domain. And uh, now that that's set, we're going to want to go to our uh, HostGator. So we go to HostGator, create an account, customer login, and then you go to the portal login. And I'm going to get myself logged in here. Get the wrong email. Okay, so once I'm logged in, I've got a couple different hosting accounts in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch my cPanel. All right. So cPanel is going to load. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I need to get the IP address of this uh, server, of this shared server. So be careful because it says last login. That's me. That's my IP. You want the site IP. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Pardon this. Okay, so... First thing we're going to do after we've got this is we're going to we're, we're going to have to come back here to add the domain, um, but I'm going to first do Cloudflare. So we're going to go to Cloudflare. We're going to log in, and you can read about what Cloudflare does. Uh, it's a pretty cool free service, and, and it gives the website some ad, uh, additional benefits other than just masking the IP of the hosting or the URL. We're going to click Add Site, and we're going to oh, we're going to need. So we got sunrise. All right. We're going to add it next. Zero. Confirm plan. Confirm. Okay. So if there's anything there already, we're going to delete it all. So just click the X and then enter instead of doing a quick way sometimes there's like 50 of them so click and then enter click then enter click then enter okay so first things for the a record we're going to do the at sign and we're going to put the ip address so we're saying the a record is at that hosting make sure we don't have any spaces after it like i do here we're going to add the record okay once that's done we're going to do the c name and we're going to do www and that no dot there no spaces add record okay we're done with that we're going to continue so now we've got the name servers so we're going to go ahead and copy these we're going to now go back to our where we hosted the website there we go so we go to manage sunrise manage then we're going to go to where it says name servers, we're going to click it to custom DNS. We're going to put the first one in from Cloudflare. The second one. All right, and we'll click this little green button. And then you'll get a little pop-up thing up here that should say, like, it's going to take 80 seconds or oh, 48 hours. So that actually changed, but it's actually really quick. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back and finish out Cloudflare, continue. We're going to go to, this is just an extra thing, go to crypto and you're going to switch it to flexible. That's going to give you HTTPS. 
Okay, if you don't know what that is, it's it's not that difficult to just do a quick search to figure out what it is. But uh, it's basically saying that the site's secure. But uh, anyways, moving on. So we're done with Cloudflare. We can go ahead and close that out. We're going to go to HostGator now, and we're going to add the domain. So it, you can kind of do it in different parts. This is the way I do it. So we're going to go to Add on Domain. You can also just type up here if you don't want to look for it. Um, something's going on. Close that. So I can just type Add, and then there it comes, Add on Domain. All right, I'm going to paste the domain name in, no extra spaces. It's going to fill it out and add domain. Okay, domain's done. Now, we're, the, the site requires WordPress. So we're, we're now we're going to create the WordPress template. And now you're going to select from in here where, where it is. So the name of the site is Sunrise Contractors. It should be right there. I'm not going to specify the directory. I'm just going to click next. Uh, blog title is going to be um, Sunrise Contractors. You can change this later, and I'll show you in additional videos of what we do. All right, click both terms of services. And you're going to click install. Now, really important, this is going to finish really quickly. The DNS that we set earlier might not be ready, so you're going to really need to save this somewhere. Um, so I just open a notepad or have, have some way to do it where you're going to save these passwords because I, I have yet to figure out on HostGator how to get back in here and figure out what, what they are. Um, you can reset the password using your email, but I've had trouble with that, so really important that you save that. So we'll, it says 60% overall. I don't know why it says that even though it's done, but at this point now... Sunrise Contractors, we're going to go to it. Let's see if it switched over yet. Okay, great. So now we're going to do admin login. Sometimes this takes a while. And sometimes um, you might have to try different browsers because of the cookies. If you go to it and it's not available and then you try subsequent tries to go back, it just doesn't show available. Sometimes we've, we just speed that up. You clear your cookies in your cache or you can change your browser. All right, so I've got the password and... All right, and we've got an error coming from our host gator. So I don't think it's fully propagated yet. I'm going to go back. So it's good to see some of the problems. Sunrise contractor. So uh, I don't think it's fully propagated yet. So we've got to wait a little bit longer, maybe another 15, 20 minutes. I'll pause the video, and then I'll come back when it's all set. Okay, I had to wait about 10, 15 more minutes. I refreshed the page, and we are good to go. So now we just have a basic... WordPress template up on sunrisecontractors.com and it simply looks like this. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin and uh, put a template on this thing and, and get, it, get it live. All right, see you in the next video.